Hello Westside kids and welcome to the next EM tutorial and this tutorial is on step entry and step recording in Logic and we're going to look at a number of different ways to do that. Uh, so I've got a Logic session open here and I have a couple of basses and keyboards and drum machines and whatnot called up and let's look at some ways to enter in things. First I'm going to do a bass line here in this track that I'm calling Dubby Bass, and I have this uh, uh, EFM synthesizer uh, that I'm using there, and we'll play around with the tone on that in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to, why don't we just do that first? So I'm going to open up the synthesizer and find a nice bass sound. Maybe play with the filter a little bit. I think I can live with that. Okay, and so I'm going to do some step entry in this bass track. And the simplest way to do step entry is with the pencil tool. And I'm going to use it in a number of different windows. Here I have the pencil tool. And I have that set up as my command tool. So I'm going to command and I'm going to make a blank MIDI region. And nice way to uh, manage this is to always start with a blank MIDI region. Then I'm going to double click that region, which is then going to bring up my piano roll. And you see here I have my blank MIDI region. And I'm going to zoom out here so I can see a little more. And I'm looking at a measure right now. And so I'm going to take my pencil here, which we have different tools down here in the piano roll, but some are duplicate, and the pencil tool is certainly one of those. So I'm going to use the pencil tool. And when I click in this track, watch what's going to happen. It's going to make a bass note, and the bass note's length and velocity will be the same as the previous note I've entered in. So I'm going to make this a little bit longer. And then what I'm going to do here, actually I'm going to make it considerably longer, like a quarter note length. And then I'm going to make another one, and another one. And then I'm going to enter in one more here, shorten it up. And then I'm going to enter in a half step above, I'm going to enter in this bass part. Okay. And looks like I entered that in on C sharp. So I'm actually just going to take all these real quickly pull down the steps so and see there we go all right and let's hear what I've got uh, I'm going to adjust my cycle to one measure and if I list that with a click I can hear that that's I put that right on the money okay so we'll stop that playing and I'd like to make this all a little bit shorter so I'm going to select them all and just shorten them up to give them a little bit of articulation there all right, so that was step entry with the pencil. And once I have this in there, as we've talked in previous tutorials, I can do a number of different things. I can use my velocity tool, which is my right click tool, to say make, beat, make these louder or softer. I think what I'm going to just do is I'm going to make beat one a little bit louder and beat three a little bit louder. And then I'm just going to take this and using my option click, I'm going to just copy that a few times like that. All right, so I've got a number of regions there. So that was entry with the pencil. Uh, now let's go up here to this 808 track. And here I'm going to do step entry using the step entry keyboard. So I'm going to close the uh, piano roll for a moment so we can see this. The step entry keyboard can be accessed by going up to window and going show, I guess they call it step input keyboard. And that's a command option K. So like a peace sign and K will bring that up. And then you see we have this little step entry keyboard. And what this keyboard will do will allow me to choose note values, I can use tuplets, dotted, I can extend for the note value, and I can choose a dynamic, and it will enter in all the notes fairly mechanically at the same dynamic. So I'm going to choose this mezzo forte here, which it shows me as a velocity of 80. Okay, And so in this track, even if I don't make a MIDI region, if I just go back to the beginning, I'm going to start by clicking on 16th note, and I'm going to enter in some high note, hi-hat notes. Here we go. And it doesn't matter what speed I enter those in. And if I want to make some 30 second notes, 
I'm just clicking on that and entering them in. And then the next measure, I'm going to get a little funky and go like eighth note, three sixteenths, eighth note, three sixteenths. Eighth note. Or actually, I just finished that out with sixteenths. There we go. All right, so let's hear what I got there. And I'm just going to solo that one. And if I do my whole. Double click on this, and I can see down here in the region that that's all pre quantized and it's all very mechanical, one dynamic level, which is kind of what I'm going for for this particular part. If I wanted to, if I didn't want it to be that mechanical, I could, I'm going to close my step input keyboard, if I didn't want that to be that mechanical, I could go up here to functions as we talked about last time and do a MIDI transform uh, and just let's say randomize the velocities. Like that. Now they're all very random. Let's listen to it. You know what? And I think I like that better mechanical, so I'm going to undo that. But what I am going to do is take my velocity tool and throw in a few accents here and there. Let's see how that sounds now. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to use my step in put keyboard again. So remember that's command option K. And I'm going to go to quarter notes. And I'm just going to drop some bass drum notes in here. Eight notes at the end, and now let's listen to that to get all together. And what I intended to do with this is, if you look at this track, I've got a little distortion here, so I'm going to add the distortion. Here we go. got a pretty good start with a few things here. Uh, I'm going to enter in, go here on this IDM track now, and I'm going to solo that. And uh, I have the Ultra Beat on this track, which we're going to talk about in a subsequent tutorial. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a sound, kind of a funky, almost sound like a squeezy catch out of a ball. I like that sound. And I'm going to do entry here using the next method, which is step entry with my controller. And so I've got my controller all ready to go. And we do step entry with the controller. We do a number of different things. The first thing is that I'm going to, as I did before, take my pencil up here in the arrange area, and I'm going to make a blank region. And I know I want this to go for four measures, so I'm just going to pull that out. So it's four measures long. Then I'm going to go down here in my piano roll, and it's kind of hard to see here. We're set for MIDI output, but I'm going to click this little red button here for MIDI input. And now I'll get MIDI input from my uh, controller keyboard. And what will it enter in? It will enter in the notes and velocities I play on the controller at the value that's specified up here in my LED display. Now, if you have the simple LED display, something like this, you don't have that, so we always want to pull down to custom 
so that we get that value. And I could choose any note value here, but I'm going to choose eighth notes. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter in that part I was just, that note I was just playing on this little IDM uh, Ultra Beat patch. And notice that no matter how hard or soft I play or what speed, it's all entered in quantized. This is definitely one of those where I'm just going to, I can keep hitting it until I get four measures. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and just randomly, because I'm a big fan of indeterminacy, I'm just going to randomly punch a few of these and get rid of them. Just kind of in a random way. And now those are all entered in at the velocity I played. But what I'd like to do is I'm going to select all of them now, Command A, and make them a bit shorter. So now let's hear that by itself. Yeah, that's a really nice thing I've got going on there now. I hear that with my other parts. So let's hear what I've got going so far from the beginning. Very nice. Now the last part I'm going to enter in using the same entry method with the controller is I'm going to go here to this little DX type patch that I've created using my uh, ES2 synthesizer, which is this FM synthesizer. And I'm going to create a very fast arpeggiated part. And to show you how this works again, I'm going to take my pencil tool, I'm going to make a blank region, and this one's going to just be a measure long. Okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a note value up here that I couldn't really play. So I'm going to do 16th note and I'm just going to start entering in some 16th notes. Okay, so let's try that again. Here we go. Recording on that patch. Back to the beginning and here we go. Keep going, but I'm going to go to 30 second notes now. I'm making it this nice. Now, when this plays, let's check this out soloed. So that's pretty fast there. I'm going to bring that in the second two bars there. And actually, what I need to do the last two beats is it the last two beats in that? Uh, I think I have to take. Well, we'll figure that out when we hear it. Okay, so let's put all that together. That's obviously way too low on the arpeggio part, so I'm going to turn that way down. Alright, so there are three examples with the pencil tool, with the step entry keyboard, and using our controller, three ways to do step entry in Logic. Enjoy.